Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Kronosaurus The Kronosaurus was a prehistoric pliosaurid that lived in Australia during the Mesozoic era. It was a ferocious carnivore that used two pairs of limbs to essentially fly underwater. It was vicious and hunted large fish and other prey, tearing apart squid like flimsy paper bags. It also would have hunted everything from ammonites to its own competitors, such as monstrous reptiles like elasmosaurids and ichthyosaurs. The Kronosaurus likely wasn't scared of much. It could grow to an estimated 30 feet long, with a skull that measured at least 7 or 8 feet. Its head was so big, it could have kept a human person in its mouth as it swam through the ocean, looking for other prey to eat. Its teeth were particularly cruel and were sort of shaped like traffic cones. That way, they were able to crush through hard shells and pierce the leather skin of giant reptiles. This marine carnivore wouldn't have had a difficult time feasting on anything it came across. These animals preferred to live in the waters near their homeland. Most Kronosaurus fossils have only been found in Australia, and they were dated from between 120 and 90 million years ago. It's likely that they preferred the colder waters of inland seas. Good thing this guy isn't around right now. Number 9. Gorgosaurus the Gorgosaurus was a mighty beast that lived across the floodplains of North America 75 million years ago. Its name is Greek for fierce lizard, but that hardly describes just how terrifying this prehistoric monster was. It was absolutely huge and was an estimated 30 feet long. The Gorgosaurus also weighed over 3 tons. It ate a stable diet of meat and ripped apart its victims with its sharp teeth. But when it came to a fistfight, the Gorgosaurus could hardly protect itself. That was because it had extremely stunted arms like the Tyrannosaurus rex. The Gorgosaurus wasn't as big as other Tyrannosaurs, but if you were an herbivore living in the late Cretaceous period, it was one of your worst nightmares. What made it so terrifying was that there were a lot of them. Paleontologists in Canada have found an unusually large number of Gorgosaurus specimens. They have found so many that the Gorgosaurus is one of the best represented species of Tyrannosaur in our fossil records. Considering what we know about prehistoric hunting patterns, with the T-Rex and other Tyrannosaurs potentially hunting in packs, this would have been bad news for prehistoric herbivores. They wouldn't have been attacked by a single rogue Gorgosaurus with teeth as big as steak knives. There would have been several of them stalking the North American plains like oversized lizards. Number 8. Gallimimus the Gallimimus was a very strange creature that lived during the late Cretaceous period, feasting on everything from plants to meat. It was an early omnivore, a theropod dinosaur that walked on two legs and measured a whopping 20 feet in length. It was only 10 feet shorter than the much more ferocious Gorgosaurus, but at least it had properly functioning arms. The Gallimimus had long arms that could bend with fingers that it could use to catch small prey, but it also had a pointy beak that it used to bash its victims to death. This kind of adaptability allowed the Gallimimus to prosper in a way not every dinosaur could. The first specimen was found in 1964 in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia. Its name translates to chicken mimic because researchers thought it kind of looked like a giant chicken, only it weighed 970 pounds and lived 70 million years ago. There is a little bit of controversy surrounding the Gallimimus. Paleontologists aren't entirely sure if it was an omnivore or strictly a carnivore. Some think its arms and sharp claws could have been used for digging up roots, while others think its arms were primarily used for catching small animals. Imagine a dinosaur with long, gangly arms that could pick up small mammals and shove them into its beaked mouth. That's the kind of terrifying monster the Gallimimus was. It also had a running speed that's hard to believe. According to paleontologist Richard Thulborn, the dinosaur had an estimated top speed of 34 miles per hour. Number 7. Dilophosaurus in 1993, Jurassic Park was released to the world as the first major dinosaur film. Since then, a lot about what we know regarding the dinosaurs portrayed in the film has changed. Most of the dinosaurs they showed weren't even close to being anatomically correct. For example, scientists already knew velociraptors were covered in feathers, 
and looked more like birds than lizards. But Steven Spielberg didn't think that giant chickens would scare audiences. What do you think? Agree? Did he make a good call? Perhaps one of the most notorious dinosaurs from the original movie was the Dilophosaurus. It had a collapsible frill in the film and was the dinosaur that spit venom in a certain character's face after breaking into his car. The Dilophosaurus quickly became famous in pop culture, yet the real Jurassic Predator was nothing like the one depicted in Jurassic Park. Adam Marsh, a paleontologist at the Petrified Forest National Park, called the Dilophosaurus the best worst known dinosaur. The truth is that the creature was a terrifying carnivore whose remains were first discovered in 1940 in Arizona. In reality, this menacing dinosaur didn't spit venom and it didn't have a frill on its neck, but it was still dangerous. It had curved teeth and ran around on two legs. It was also an astounding 25 feet long. The Dilophosaurus was so big that it could have easily crushed the vehicle from Jurassic Park. There's no way it could have fit inside it. Number 6. Titanic Thieves The Titanic Thieves was a carnivore that lurked in the Devonian era seas and ate everything it could get its mouth on. It was a giant placoderm, which is a fancy name for armored fish, and its remains have been found in Morocco, North America, and Europe. It lived in these areas 380 million years ago, when the land was covered in water. It could grow over 15 feet in length, with its lower jaw reaching a shocking 3 feet long. It was fairly similar to another giant armored fish known as the Dunkleosteus. However, nobody officially knows how the Titanic thieves fed. It may have operated like a basking shark, sucking yummy morsels of food into its mouth, or it could have been a vicious predator that ripped apart its prey. In an effort to solve the mystery, paleobiologist Samuel Coatham from the University of Bristol did some research. Samuel and his colleagues looked at the fossilized remains of the giant fish to see how it survived. They found its lower jaw to be less mechanically robust bust than other armored fish of the time. This means it likely didn't feed on particularly large prey or animals with hard shells. For example, it wouldn't have been able to bite through a turtle shell. Even though the Titanic thieves was a giant fish that would scare you half to death if you saw it today, it didn't hunt large animals. It likely ate by opening its mouth and swallowing any fish silly enough to get sucked inside. Number 5. The Mapusaurus the Mapusaurus lived 100 million years ago during the middle of the Cretaceous period, and it was one of the scariest things on the planet. It was similar to tyrannosaurs like the Gorgosaurus or the Tyrannosaurus rex, only it lived in the dense forests of South America and was much bigger than its counterparts. Its name translates to Earth Lizard, and it was a strict carnivore. Back then, it would have been distinguishable in the prehistoric world by its immense size. This beast of a dinosaur was 40 feet from the tip of its tail to the top of its head. It also weighed 3 tons, and its teeth were serrated for easily gnawing through meat. The discovery of the Mapusaurus was a little strange. In 1995, a single excavation in South America yielded hundreds of Mapusaurus bones. Paleontologists analyzed the bones until they were able to officially recognize the dinosaur as its own species in 2006. Experts believe the Mapusaurus was closely related to the Giganotosaurus, only it was a little bit bigger. It was likely related to the Carcharodontosaurus, arguably the most frightening lizard monster that ever walked the Earth. But the truly remarkable thing is that so many different Mapusaurus skeletons were found in this same spot, leading scientists to believe that the dinosaur hunted as a herd. It's further evidence that many of the most fearsome carnivore dinosaurs had pack mentality, allowing them to hunt giant herbivores like the Titanosaur. Number 4. Anomalocaris The carnivores of the world looked a lot different 530 million years ago than the ones that came much later. The creatures that lived during the Cambrian explosion would have looked like aliens to us today. One of these alien predators was an animal called Anomalocaris, which is Greek for unusual shrimp. It was an apex predator that lurked in the ancient seas. And amazingly, its fossils have been found all over the world, 
from Canada to China, and even in Greenland. The ancient shrimp was unusual in that it grew to a whopping 6 feet long. Imagine the shrimp on your dinner plate being larger than you are. In real life, you'd be the one on the Anomalo Cars' dinner platter. Many fossilized remains of the unusual shrimp have been discovered, but scientists are still trying to understand its predatory behavior. It had eyes on long, rubbery stalks with thousands of lenses, giving them immaculate vision to inspect their surroundings. They were able to swim incredibly fast simply by undulating, and once an anomalo caris got a hold of its prey, the victim was done for. It had sharp spikes on its front limbs for catching other animals and could rapidly stuff live creatures into its hungry mouth. Its intense speed, eagle-like vision, and tenacity made it a truly dangerous predator. The main thing that scientists don't know is how it ate its food. They know the creature's mouth was made of 32 overlapping plates, but it's unclear if those plates were used for crushing its victims like trilobites or if it used a different method. Number 3. Liviatan the Leviathan was a leviathan that lived in the planet's ancient oceans. It got its name from the biblical sea monster, the Leviathan, and it lived off the coast of Peru an estimated 12 million years ago. It was a kind of whale that took hunting its own kind to a whole new level. These days, killer whales have been known to hunt other whale species. They work in packs to take down much larger whales. But during the days of the Leviathan, things in the ocean were much more violent. The Leviathan, or the Leviathan, was a about the same size as a modern sperm whale, measuring upwards of 60 feet in length. But it was way more dangerous. It had teeth similar to those you'd find in the mouth of a Mapusaurus. The modern sperm whale has non-functional teeth in its upper jaw and very small teeth in its lower jaw. Scientists believe that these teeth are only really used when fighting other whales. The killer whale has some pretty gnarly teeth for ripping apart flesh, but the Leviathan had monstrous teeth that were nearly one point five feet long. It was like it had ice picks or metal spikes in its mouth, which were designed for grabbing prey and inflicting devastating wounds on its victims. This was an apex predator and a ruler of the seas, living at the same time as the legendary Megalodon. Unfortunately, scientists aren't completely sure why such a formidable monster went extinct. Number 2. Rajasaurus the Rajasaurus was a carnivore that lived in India when the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs hit the Earth 65 million years ago. It was a type of abelisaurid theropod that was originally found in 1983. It was similar to other carnivorous dinosaurs that lived just before the extinction event, but it did have some unique characteristics. The Rajasaurus had a crest on its head that made it look like it was wearing a crown, which is why its name translates to princely lizard. Most of the coolest dinosaurs we know about were found in North America and South America. The paleontological research done in the Western Hemisphere tends to get a lot of the attention. But the truth is that there are a lot of unique dinosaurs found in places like India that nobody's ever heard of. The Rajasaurus is the Indian version of the T-Rex, the country's very own lizard monster. There are even sauropods unique to India, like the plant-eating Mahan and Bahu, which are similar to dinosaurs like the Brontosaurus. Number 1. The Cretaceous Cockroach even in the days of the dinosaurs, disgusting cockroaches skittered across the forest floor. 97 million years ago, there was a nocturnal predator that you wouldn't want to find hiding under your kitchen sink. It was a Cretaceous cockroach with a triangle-shaped head and skinny legs. It was a hunter of smaller bugs and a critical part of the food chain. Even though we are positively disgusted by cockroaches today, they still have a role to play in the ecosystem. And they always have. This particular one, however, was only about the size of your pinky fingernail. But it's not the size that's scary. It had graceful wings, modified front legs used for grabbing things, and it was absolutely ruthless. One of the only specimens we have of this prehistoric cockroach was found in a piece of amber pulled out of a mine in northern Myanmar. Ancient insects like this don't typically get preserved for millions of years. This one happened to get stuck in a ball of sap and was then buried underground. It's preserved so perfectly you can see every last detail of the creature, including a slender neck and oversized eyes. What you might be interested in knowing is that the Cretaceous period saw a boom in insect life. Many new kinds of predatory insects evolved as flowering plants 
plants began to spread across the world. During the age of the dinosaurs, there were multiple species of predatory cockroaches, and they were sort of like the T-Rex of the insect world. But all these years later, only a single order of the cockroach family still survives, the Mantodea. Thanks for watching! If you could only pick one of these terrifying prehistoric creatures, which one would you bring back to life? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!